The Mistias returns. Do you have time to accompany me and Akai Kos? After all this? Excellent. We team, so we're a team now. Can I still accept? After my performance, Drachmi will be a no- You've dedicated your life to your art. You must have a lot. I write a hundred poems every night when I go to sleep, and I throw out a hundred every morning when I wake up. Luckily, some have survived to touch people. Do you have any favorites? There's one I'm well known for that is very dear to me. The most beautiful thing I leave is the light of the sun. Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. Then ripe cucumbers, apples, and pears too. Sounds nice. But we should get going. So, cucumbers. The sun gives us the fruit of the trees like the fruit of the loins. In your poem, you say you leave the sun. Why? <laughs> Not me. Avernis. He's being asked upon death about the most beautiful things he's left behind. To me, there is no greater beauty oh. than that of the sun and the moon and stars. Oh! Why is he being asked this? Avernis is beauty incarnate. What could be so beautiful that even he would be paying to leave? I see. Looks like we've made it. Marvelous. Thank you. Looks like my... It's Praxila! I heard she was coming this year. Praxila! Recite something for us. I've been reciting this poem for years. Cassandra, would you do me the kindness of allowing me to hear it anew from your lips? I couldn't. Nonsense. You know everything you need to do it justice. How about something new this year? The most beautiful thing I leave is the light of the sun. Praise be Apollo! Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. This is one of my favorites. Then, ripe cucumbers. Apples and pears, too. That's always been my favorite verse. I'm happy my poem touched you so deeply, Cassandra. Have you thought about trading your spear for the lyre? I will stick to swinging swords, thanks. It wouldn't be a poetry festival without someone causing a disturbance. Praxila, get to safety. I can handle them. Or two. I think you missed a drunkard or two. idiots drink too much wine and get themselves killed. I didn't know poetry festivals were such lively events. Indeed. I need to take a moment to recover. Let's go back to my tent. Ah, but we do have a happy ending. Praxila. It has taken me long years of soul-searching and many nights of tears to bring myself to this moment. I am Archimedes, your son. When I heard the name of the man who stole my lyre, I suspected it might be you. I've 
dreamt of hurting you as you hurt me and my father a thousand times. But I only knew you as the mother who abandoned me and not as the artist that I just saw. Just as Adonis lamented the beauty he left behind, I too left that which was most precious to me on the death of my old self. You're not dead. Neither of you are. Take this opportunity and see what you can build together. Thank you. friend. Come on. Hope no one notices me here.
Bella. What is it? So Merc, calling himself the Ear Bearer, came to Alpolos, offering to help out. Nice kid, and I've heard his name before. I thought to myself, make at least that track me well spent. Whoever came to Alpolos lied to you. I'm the only Eagle Bearer. You? Impossible! Well, I have an Eagle. Also, I'm not a man. I see that now, don't I? But I paid this other Eagle Bearer a small fortune to get the villagers ready for a pirate invasion. By the look on your face, I'm guessing that didn't work out. It didn't. Then I sent him to bargain peace, but he bought that too. The pirates are coming, and we don't stand a chance. Next time, hire the real eagle bearer. But I'm listening. Does the village of Alponos have a militia? Not enough. But if you get out there and stop the pirates before they land, I'll give you all that's left in the treasury. I'll stop the pirates from reaching your shore. Then you're going to help me find this eagle bearer imposter. I'll help you kill him myself. Where are the pirates sailing from? We saw the pirate fleet forming north of here. How big is their fleet? Just two ships, but they may have hundreds aboard. They make it to us. We're dead. I'm going to find the one using my name. When did you last see him? He came in with the last merchant ships, but I haven't seen him in days. He won't be easy to find, but if you sink the pirates, I'll track him down. Time to show the pirates what the real Eagle Bearer can do. Another day...
Join my hunt. Commander. Our Poseidon's problem now. What have you done? Didn't you hear me screaming? You sunk our reinforcements! You didn't say anything about reinforcements. You said pirates. Oh. I sent a message to the supply ships to disguise their sails. Look like a pirate and sail in unseen. Those ships had supplies and troops. If I'd known they were reinforcements, I wouldn't have attacked. I need to set this right. There's still time. If we can get these villagers ready for battle, they can fight off the pirates themselves. I'll do it. I don't see an armory, though. Where's the smith? He hasn't worked since the last Eagle Bearer was here. I'll get him making swords. Can the villagers ride? For salt workers, they're not bad. And there's a horse breeder in town. I'll talk to them. Though we can't just arm them and tell them to fight. Mm, there's only one man who can rally the people. Claims to be a reborn Ajax the Lesser. Find him and get him back. 
So, where's the blacksmith? The forge caught fire. The smith's in the village, but you'll need to help him rebuild before... Tell me more about the horse breed. She knows horses better than Poseidon. Get her to put a mare under each of these villagers, and we'll have a chance. If dead heroes are anything like me, they don't like being impersonated. Are you sure this Ajax guy is a good idea? Let the dead judge us all they want. We need to shake the fear out of these villagers. The last time I saw Ajax, he was headed to the hills southwest of here, on the northern border of Foki. Tell me what you know about the one using my... He came in with a vicious little bird. Called it... Icaros? Something like that. Anyway, said he'd help, then made things worse at every turn. So far, you two have a lot in common. The villagers will be warriors when I'm done. Are you the blacksmith? I was. Then another Mistyos, an eagle something, came to help. Kind young man. It's eagle bearer, and there's only one. Me. Ah, the one who sunk the reinforcements. Gossip travels fast. Let's talk about uh, the other Mistyos. Eagle something. The poor boy lit my forge, but somehow caused the fire to erupt. Flames everywhere. I can barely see now, or move my hands. But you're the only smith in town, and pirates are coming. We need you to start making weapons. No need to worry. Old Kalipidis has a few good blades left in him. I just need some space to work. Those stone blocks would make a fine table. Could you move them for me? Sounds easy enough. Oh, you could crush someone with these things if you're not careful. Excellent work. Well, what next? I suppose we can't make weapons without iron now, can we? I have more than enough to share. Have some of mine. Well, this is certainly better than when that other Mistyos came to help. All a good smith needs now are his tools. Your tools? Rick the Eagle something said they were stolen by a small group of bad eggs. They rode west of here, but I'm not sure where. I'll get them. Then you'll be ready to work? Of course. You've been so kind to this old smith. I thought I'd never work again.
I hope you said no. I've got your tools right here. Ah, oh, what a day. You should be proud. You've given this old man purpose again. Now, if you could just set those aside for a moment, I'll get... I'll be this! Can you be this? By the gods, I've seen a lot in my life, but that was brutal. Poor Calipides. That's... that's not good. Did you hear the supply ships got sunk before it's in shore? Gonna start to die before the pirates can get here. If it isn't the new Eagle Bearer. Trust me, I'm a lot better than the last one. Look, you want to be useful, new Eagle Bearer? Get back the stallion the other one of you lost to the pirates. I can get your stallion back, but we're going to need a lot more than one horse. What for? 
The pirates are coming. And at least with mounts, the villagers have a fighting chance. Sure enough. But I bred this one just for Megaclis himself. Without his stallion, he isn't riding into battle. You ever seen a general strutting into battle? Not a good one. Exactly. Where did the stallion go? That other eagle bearer rode him east past the salts. Came back and said some bandits stole him in the night. He ma I need to find this other eagle bearer. Wouldn't mind giving him a piece of my mind too. If you find him, punch his bird right in the beak for me. His eagle? Ha! It was barely a chicken. I'll get back Megaclis' stallion. Then you and I are going to talk about getting horses for everyone in Alponos. Another sleepless night over. They'll be watching. Oh. Hopefully this goes better than last time.
Here you go. When the real Eagle Bearer says she's going to do something, she does it. There, there, Princess Butterfly. Eat up. Let it flow through you. What are you doing? The first of you Eagle Bearers rode uh. east to find this fruit. Said that the horse that eats it turns into Pegasus. Leave it to the gods to hide it in plain sight. The Eagle Bearer obviously lied to you. Don't believe me? For how much I paid, this fruit has to be real. Here, watch this. Wait! Fly, Pegasus, fly! Ugh. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 